Well, good morning. Today is Monday, May the 11th. Welcome to Wise Words from Waldo. As we get closer and closer to the opportunity we have to meet together back here at our church facility, and as I continue to share our devotions day to day and until we're able to meet back together, I'm grateful for those of you who've been listening and commenting and sharing our devotion time. This week I have two very special devotions for you, so make sure you tune in tomorrow, Tuesday and Wednesday, because there's something real special for you. Yesterday was Mother's Day. I hope you were able to connect with your mother. If it was your first Mother's Day without your mother, Just take a moment and thank God for her. In Proverbs chapter 1 and verse 8, the Bible says, Do not forsake the law of your mother. Someone once said, There are some things that my mother taught me. My mother taught me religion. When she said, You better pray that stain comes out of the carpet. She taught me irony. Keep laughing, and I'll give you something to cry about. She taught me foresight. Make sure you're always wearing clean underwear in case you're in an accident. She also taught me about job placement. If you're going to kill each other, do it outside. (laughs) For me, the law of your mother is an unwritten code indelibly stamped on my mind. The law of love and kindness. With motherhood comes blessings, joys, sorrows, challenges, triumphs. There is no greater ecstasy than a mother holding her newborn baby. But there's also no greater anguish than a broken heart caused by a wayward child. When God's trying to describe wisdom in Proverbs, it uses the pronoun she for wisdom. I guess it refers back to the law of your mother. You see, the wisdom of God is probably best shown in motherhood. Contrary to modern thinking, what we often call humanism, We're not just the byproduct of some impersonal biological process. Your mother formed an intimate relationship with you before you were born. She jeopardized her life for you. She was the first human who cared for you, protected you, and fed you. She put her life on hold just for you. What have you given back to her? You know, honoring on mother, her on Mother's Day is nice. But she'd rather have your attention than apparel. She'd rather have your affection than flowers. She'd rather have your respect than roses. How could you ever repay your mom? Well, it begins by recognizing her value. At the end of 1 Samuel, the Israelites were returning from war. It had been a particularly difficult war. And David and the army were returning with the spoils of war. And it came time to divide the spoils. As in all wars, when they're over, the soldiers are praised and given medals. David was about to divide the spoils, but he did a remarkable thing. He told them to divide the spoils between the soldiers that fought the war and the moms who kept the homes together while they were gone. You know, we rarely hear about the moms that kept their homes together during the war. But that's recognizing value. Hmm. 
Do you think about the value of your mother? Now stop and think about that. <laughs>